Hey guys, today I'll be showing you all the free primary gems available in patch 1.1 in Genshin Impact. This video will also cover how to get free to play primary gems, meaning that you do not have to spend a dime to get primary gems. You can get primary gems by either farming them, there's a lot of one-time primary gem claimable rewards, so I'm going to be covering that in this video. So starting off, in your mail, you might have noticed that there's a free 100 primary gems for the bugs. There's 100 primary gems, as you can see. There's also another 300 primary gems for all the various bugs addressed in patch 1.1. You can see these bugs in the event notices and in the fixes on, on optimizations. You can see there's also two codes that you can redeem. One is Genshin 1111, all caps, and the other one is Genshin Gift in all caps. This Genshin 1111 gives 60 primary gems and Mora, and this gives 50 primary gems and three hero wits. To redeem these codes, you, all you need to do is go into settings and go into account, and there should be a code redeem on PC. On mobile, I'm sorry, you have to go to the official website and enter it there. There's also a new web event, so if you go into notices, there's going to be a new Stone Harbor Treasure Journal web event, and this you can get two, up to 200 primary gems and 50,000 mora. So to do this event, all you need to do is go into your mail. There should be a Stone Harbor Treasure Journal web event, and you can click here to go to the event. From here, you can just claim this adventure reputation thing every time and just check on it like every hour and you can do these quests to uh, increase your reputation rank the higher the reputation rank the more rewards you earn with update 1.1 there's also a new location that has been added with tons of new chests there's this golden village here to go to the new location just teleport here in Muyu Harbor and follow this path all the way to the golden house to see the available chests, check out Majestic Multi Gaming's video. With the introduction of 1.1, there are new quests to be done, such as the Floating Palace, which gives you XP and a bunch of primary gems once you progress through the quest. In my case, I'm saving this quest for my playthrough, but which you would expect. Which you should be looking forward to, as I will verse the new child boss. You also have the new story quest if you reach rank 40, which also gives you primary gems. If you go to your achievements tab, you will find that there will be a new achievement series called Challenger Series 2. If you complete all these challenges, you will get 120 primary gems as well as a new background. In this case, there are two different levels in completing these achievements. Level 1, which is 5 primary gems, and level 2, which is 10 primary gems. As you can see, I've already completed a 10 primary gem one, and therefore it will be marked as completed. There's also a bunch of different other challenges and achievements that to be made. This rewards a bunch of extra primary gems. As you can see here, this is 20 primary gems for just one achievement. Although it would take a long time to open 800 chests in Liu. I suggest you go to Genshin Impact Interactive Map and mark where all the chests are, just to be sure. To find more chests and give primer gems, you can also go to the reputation system in Liu or Mondstadt to buy what's called a treasure hunt GPS. To get the Liu and Mondstadt treasure finders, you have to reach le reputation level 6. Also, on the topic of chests, you can look at these Shrine of Depths, and if you open them, once you've obtained Shrine of Depths key from specific quests, if you open them, they'll grant you at least 40 primary gems, 40 to 60 primary gems, and a bunch more other stuff that is very valuable. I also recommend marking these down in the Genshin Impact Interactive Map, as you can track how many they are and where they are. As a little fun party trick Mihoyu did, they went and put Wei into the game, which is the CEO of Mihoyu. He gives a little bit of primary gems and a chance of getting cabbages. So I do not recommend this route, but if you're really, really desperate for Primer Gems, you can hunt him down. I'll have some gameplay in the background for you guys. As you start off Genshin Impact for the first time when you're updating to 1.1, 1 
you will be received with 600 primary gems here for the update maintenance compensation, which is 300, and the bug fixes compensation, which is 300, another 300. As you log into Genshin Impact again after updating to 1.1, you'll be also treated with 300 primary gems for the update maintenance compensation. This is because downtime was five hours and there's 60 primary gems rewarded for each hour the servers are down. Additionally, you can also earn another 20 primary gems by going into your events. And with the addition of child, there's a test run event, which you can get another 20 primary gems and a bunch more if you test out all the other characters. There's also a daily login bonus where you can get 300 primary gems if you log in seven days. It doesn't have to be in a row. It just has to be within the 15 day period. In this case, three days have already gone by. As the month ends, you can go into the shop and claim some more standard fates and aquam fates from the Paimon's Bargain Shop using Star Glitter Exchange and Stardust Exchange. I know this isn't a way to get more free primary gems, but you can get more free Interwine Fates and Aquam Fates by doing this, which is essentially the only thing you spend with primary gems. With monthly refresh, you can go to the Spiral Abyss and then claim your extra primary gems once you reach to the Abyssal Spire. So what I mean by this, if you go to Spiral Abyss and then claim the rewards, you can have a potential of getting 300 primary gems if you get all nine stars in each floor. So once you've unlocked the Abyssal Spire, you have a bunch of primary gems you can claim each month. Each month, the Abyssal Spire resets and then you can do those levels again. So you have a potential of getting 1200 primary gems each month just by farming Abyssal Spire level nine to level 12. Although this can be very difficult with the wrong team. We also have the potential to score a bunch of primary gems just by participating in the upcoming event called Unreconciled Stars. This is set to release November 16th in the 1.1 update. You can also get a free official and a bunch of more free rewards. As you progress through the different adventure ranks, you can score a bunch of free primary gems just by going to the Adventurers Guild and doing the daily commissions, which gives you 60 primary gems every day. You can also claim free primary gems by progressing your adventure rank. So you can claim the adventure rank rewards and sometimes it has primary gems. For example, when I reach AR level 40, I received 100 primary gems. And in some instances, you can receive a quant fates, which are basically primary gems. If you haven't collected all Geoculus and Animoculus, upgrading the statues of the seven will grant you a ton of primary gems with the max statue level being 10 and each level gives you 10 primary gems. So about 100 primary gems Per statue. So this is around 200 primary gems if you get all the Animoculus and Joculus. If you have trouble finding Animoculus and Joculus, you can go to the Animoculus and Joculus tracker crafting. You can get these blueprints from the reputation store. So to conclude, make sure you check your mail daily as there can be bulk fixes that can potentially reward a lot of free primary gems. You can also do your daily commissions to get 60 primary gems for free each day. Also, be on the lookout for special events and rewards. Overall, that concludes my ultimate free-to-play Primer Gems guide. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon. Thank you. Peace.